Hey y'all, well, here we are in downtown Tampa. We're at Sparkman's Wharf. The unique thing about this, it's a food pavilion. They've taken shipping containers and turned them into all little unique food spots. Yeah, so we're gonna hang out by the water. It's right by the river here, and we're gonna hang outside, enjoy some food and drink. So let's check it out. Let's check it out, it's a beautiful day. We're gonna take full advantage. Let's go see what they got to offer. Welcome to Sparkman's Wharf. When you first walk in, you're going to see here they have a diagram on how Sparkman's Wharf is set up. And we're going to give you a quick aerial view of Sparkman's Wharf so you can get a better idea of what it looks like from above ground. As you can see here, it's really expansive, really walkable. They have a beer garden located right in the center, and they have this really great family fun area as well. Now, when you first come in, they're going to have a little rule board right here, which we're going to stop and take a peek at. But just some quick information, there are three parking garages, which are within walking distance. Sparkman's Wharf is open Sunday through Thursday, 11 to 9, and Friday and Saturday, 11 to 11. And as you can kind of see there by the rules, they just want it to be a family-friendly environment. Now, as soon as you get into Sparkman's Wharf, you're immediately greeted by the wonderful smell of Everglazed. They do chicken and donuts, and it really took some self-control for us not to immediately start snacking. But as you can see here, here's a look at their menu. They do chicken tenders, loaded tenders, crinkle cut fries, all kinds of yummy looking snacks. So that's, that's your welcome to Sparkman's Wharf. Quick tip, all the vendors are cards, no cash. Next place you'll run into is Half Moon Seafood really great looking menu here all kinds of little seafood options and you'll see here as we back away off to the left they're gonna have two sit down options if that's more your thing you're gonna have the battery which is right here in front of us directly in front of us with the brown framing and then to the left of there there's gonna be burger fi burger fi is more of a casual burger place battery is gonna be more of your sit down raw bar steaks seafoods uh, you know upper class cocktails Jenny's ice cream. Now, if y'all haven't tried Jenny's ice cream yet, you are absolutely doing yourself a total disservice here. Absolutely one of our favorite ice creams. They sell it here at our local Publix, so if you see it at your grocery market, definitely pick up a pint and try it. You can see everybody off there to the right enjoying their ice cream. Now, Joe Dog, really awesome unique hot dog place if you stay with us towards the middle of this video we end up making our way over here and trying one of their delicious hot dogs and one of the other treats that they have now right here in the center is lighthouse now this is a beer house beer garden and what's really cool as you see here this is right next to the port of tampa and a cruise ship just happened to be in port So that's really, really neat to see as well. And we do appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel. Now off here to the left, like I said, is Battery. This is more of your sit-down style steakhouse, seafood house. Hampton Chocolates. We'll be back to check them out and show you what the inside offerings they have there are. All right, well, next is Joyful Notion, which is a woman's wear store. And right next to them is the public restroom. So if you're in need of a restroom, that's where you'll find it. And next up here on the left is Splitsville. Splitsville is a really neat concept. It's a bowling alley, bar, and restaurant. They also have pool tables, foosball, darts. Really neat concept. It's never been inside of one. Definitely worth checking out. Directly behind them, you'll see here, getting back to Lighthouse, the beer garden. They have plenty of outside seating, as you can see. And this is the actual outside frozen drink bar that they have at Splitsville. And we're going to stop by there, and I'll show you the drinks a little more closely. But we actually got our first drink from there. And as I said, it's right next to the port of Tampa. So you have all the cruise ships, and just by chance, there happened to be one here on this day. So that's pretty neat, too. And again, plenty of seating. Look at all the seating. There's plenty of places for you to sit, relax, enjoy a drink, people watch, look at the cruise ships. 
that's right along the Hillsborough River. This is the outdoor area that they have. Now, it's really neat. This is located right next to Omni Arena, where the Tampa Bay Lightning play. And on game days, they do watch parties here. So you can bring your family down here, and on these TVs you see over here, they actually broadcast the games. They also do it at the arena, at Thunder Alley, but they also do it here. This is probably a better option, a little more family-friendly. So definitely, I would say check this out if you're a Tampa Bay Lightning fan on game day. All right, we're going to get in here and show you a couple more of the food spots, some of the options you have here. And after we get done looking at these a little bit more, we're going to actually sit down, have our first drink, try a couple food samples, and kind of give you our overall opinion on what we think so far. Galitos, this is a taqueria. Really good. Everything smells so fresh. It's clean, inviting. If you see there on the left, for a split second, they have misters. So if you're really hot, stand by a mister. Dang, dude. We'll definitely be back to check them out. We got some snacks from here. They have plenty of seating, so when you do get some delicious snacks, you have a place to sit down and try them. See the misters right there? That's what I was talking about. It helps keep you cool. We did get some treats from here as well. Can't wait to tell you all about their empanadas. They were delicious. Stay with us here for just a few more minutes and we're going to be sitting down and sampling some of these delicious treats and not just walking around showing you all the delicious food that they offer. Again, those misters there, they really do cool you down when it's warm outside. As you know, here in Florida, it does get warm. This place is pretty cool. Diet bar, fish kitchen. As you can see, all the different fish offerings they have really really neat and they seem pretty busy here so we didn't try anything from here today but this is definitely a place I would definitely find myself in line for next time we come back All right, here's one more quick place we're going to show you the fruit bowl before we sit down and sample some of the first treats of the day now this looked really good too they do all kinds of fresh fruit bowls really great offerings and honestly as far as uh, you know we're concerned everything is really reasonably priced at all the uh, food establishments so that being said let's kind of get into some of the treats and what we thought about it all right, now that we've checked out what they've got here at Sparkman's yeah. Wharf, we're going to grab some bites to eat and see what's good. Yeah, definitely excited to definitely try out some of the food here. Yeah, Gordito's looked really good. Dang Dude looked really good. So we're going to see what we can dig and let you know. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to dig in all, so let's get into it. <laughs> Check it out. I'm starving. That looks good. All right, y'all. Well, here we are. We got our first drink. We finally sat down. We got our first drink from Splitsville, and these are their frozen pina coladas. Splitsville is like a bowling bar. Which is really cool and it's outside here at Sparkman's Worth. New alcohol. You can taste the booze, you can taste the pineapple and the coconut. It's yeah. awesome for a hot day here in Florida. But it's great. It's refreshing after that two mile walk. So cheers. Cheers. Alright guys, so we got a few things to try. First is gonna be an empanada from Gordito's. Mm -hmm. It's a beef and mozzarella empanada with a cumin crema sauce. And it was four seventy five for the empanada. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Shot. Nice looks and good. warm. Smells delicious, mm, yeah. Look at the crispiness. Mm -hmm. It looks, looks good. really good. I'm gonna try beef and mozzarella with a cumin crema. That cumin crema smells so good, dude. I bet that's gotta be good. Oh my god. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. The empanada shell is really crispy but also flaky. Mm -hmm. The beef and mozzarella have great flavor. And this cumin crema, that great really flavor too. It off. Yeah, that's nice really, and really smoky. Good. Yeah, like delicious. It. All right, let's try one of these sticky. Poison wings from Dang Goods. So these are Korean style chicken wings with a poison sauce. 
Oh my gosh, do you smell that? Yeah, it smells delicious. Oh my God, they Get smell out of here. sticky, sweet, delicious, and so good. I got the spicy Korean barbecue nice. on the side. That looks so good too. All right. Check out these. Wow. Is that good? Let me try that. Hmm. Let me start to try it out. The good hoisin up. flavor is awesome. It's not too sweet, and the wings are. Crispy and delicious. Mm -hmm. That's wow. really, really good. Yeah, it's not too spicy. No. Mm. Really. Why I wanted to get the spicy Korean, but I wasn't sure how spicy it was going to be, so got the hoisin and then that sauce on the side. So yeah, really we can good. try it and see how spicy it is. Let's check it out. He said it was about on a scale one to ten, about a six on his in his opinion. The guy I ordered from. So what do you think? Hmm. That's pretty spicy, yeah, <laughs> but you can handle it. I can't handle spice as well as John Kim. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it's spicy but good. It's spicy good, but yeah. good, right? Yeah, totally. All right, well, we're going to try these snacks. We're going to take a walk yeah. around. Finger see, looking good. <laughs> see what else we want to try. But if you're here, Tampa Sparkling Work, Gordito, Empanadas, awesome. Dang good. The wings, awesome. But let's see what else we're ready for. Yeah, really good. So as promised, we're going to take a walk and show you inside of the Hampton Chocolate Factory. And above the door it says Decadent Desserts and you will not be disappointed. As soon as you walk in the front door, you're met with that smell of chocolate ice cream. Just really honestly decadence. These are some of the selections they have. They have chocolate covered everything from almonds to peanuts to espresso beans. And they also have an artisan ice cream bar as well. And again, the smells in here are just wonderful. These are all of their handmade candies, truffles, you name it. Hampton Chocolate Factory has it. And again, all of this stuff is made right here on premises. Here's again another look at the ice cream menu. Here's them building out someone's ice cream. The toppings are endless. And as you can see, as we move down a little further, they offer all kinds of toppings, like I said, including all these different syrups that you can get from caramel, chocolate, peppermint, butterscotch, you name it, they have it. And they even have this really fun, really big ice cream cone here. Really great picture opportunity. And I'll show you here. They even offer it to go bags, insulated to go bags, if you so need to take some ice cream home with you and you still got some shopping you want to do get an insulated bag as you can see here plenty of seating at the beer garden we're going to stop there and get a couple of drinks in just a few minutes and talk a little bit more about the drinks we got there this is the outside frozen drink area that they have at Splitsville that I walked by a little bit ago and you can take all of these drinks with you to go Grab a frozen drink and just walk around. Now, like I said, this is located here in the Port of Tampa. So earlier you saw there was a cruise ship here that actually departed while we were having some snacks earlier. But as you can see here, they have some cornhole games that you're more than welcome to play if no one's using them. And again, this is right along the Hillsborough River, really close to Riverwalk, which is a really neat two and a half mile path that runs along the Hillsborough River. And there happened to be another cruise ship over there as well. So again, just really neat views of the water, really relaxing out here. So now we make our way over to the lighthouse beer garden as you see here they have a great selection of drafts a lot of great local selections as well they have ciders on tap something for everyone really great laid back atmosphere and they move the line pretty quickly here too 
Now, we ordered a couple of our favorite ciders from one of our local cideries here, and we're going to tell you all about that cidery, so let's get at it. All right, so we're still hanging out at Sparkling's Wharf. We just went to the Lighthouse Beer Garden and grabbed a couple local ciders from Keel Farms. You've got the Strawberry Shortcake and the Churro, so yeah. cheers. Cheers to that. These are so good. Keel Farms are right here in Plant City. Not only do they make great ciders, they also make fantastic wines, too, so... Definitely, if you have a chance and you're in the Tampa Bay area, check out Keel Farms. It's awesome. Definitely worth the trip. Or if you see Keel Farms cider in your local area, yeah. definitely try it out. You won't be disappointed. Cheers, y'all. So we continued on drinking those Keel Farms ciders, which again, can't tell you. If you see Keel Farms, definitely grab you one. They won't disappoint. Now, as promised, we did make our way back to Joe Dog to grab one of their delicious hot dogs and a side. And Ryan is going to grab our treat, and we're going to let you know what we thought about it. So let's get into it. All right, guys, we are trying the slaw dog and the hot honey fries from J Dog. All right. It looks so fantastic. It's hot, fresh. Hey, let's try these hot honey fries. Oh my God, oh my get out of it. You got the hot honey ones? These look too dive for it. They've got hot honey all over them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's really good. I'm putting hot honey on every french fry I eat from now on. Mm -hmm. mm. Hot, spicy, but it's not really, really overwhelming. That's really nice. I never thought of that before. That's really good. I'm gonna try the slaw dog. All right, the slaw dog, here we go. Wow, that flavor is awesome. Oh my God. The slaw, the dice relish on top, and the barbecue, so good. Yeah, that barbecue is really a cool touch on there. Mm, those crispy pickles, mm -hmm. so good. All right. Sweet pickles too. J-Dog, you guys gotta try that if you're here at Smart yeah. Before. That's definitely 10 out of 10 We can do this. Yeah, cheers y'all here. Cheers. All right, guys, we're going to finish enjoying these snacks. We'll catch you on the flip side. So we finished up our delicious slaw dog, those wonderfully fresh and crispy hot honey fries. Nothing disappointed on our visit here today at Sparkman's Wharf. Comment below if you've been here before. Let us know what you think. All right, guys, well, we just got done at Sparkman's Wharf here in downtown Tampa. Beautiful day in Tampa. We had some great food. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we had a slaw dog. We had these honey hot fries. We had empanadas. We had some great ciders. Korean wings. Uh, pina coladas, you name it. We had it. They have it here at Sparkman's Wharf, downtown Tampa. I mean, it does get more convenient than this. You park, you walk, you drink, you have a great time. Definitely a place to check out if y'all are down here in Tampa. Yeah, so if you like this, please give us a thumbs up and share. If you like this, subscribe to our channel. It really helps our channel grow. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, y'all. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.